Are you fed up of having a dead cameraman? A skinny person? No beard? Loads of hair? Well now there's me. Overweight. Ginger. Big beard. No hair. What more could you ask for? Two. We got some sloppy spaghetti bolognese from last night without the spaghetti. Lovely bit of red meat in there. Two minute Thai jasmine rice. Bulking up on those carbs. You like carbs when you add? Love carbs. What's your favourite carbohydrate you add? It's got to be Pop Tarts, isn't it? Pop Tarts. But he is the YouTube sensation, Dan Yeomans. I don't do YouTube. In Instagram. <laughs> Soon to be YouTube sensation. It's my quakers. I find eating out of a plastic box quite therapeutic. It's just the athlete way of life. Nice little bee mug. I'm a bit of a mug, so it makes sense. I always put some of the Lucy B good stuff in my coffee. Get those good fats in. You're really out vlogging the whole thing. Number three, some salmon and some almonds. This is at 12.30. What <laughs> on earth is going on here? Selfie game. S selfie with the aquarium. No, it's not going to work. <laughs> this is what goes on in the office. <laughs> Crazy media. guy. Social media. Cheeky. Okay, it's just about 2.30 p.m. Just about to have physiotherapy at Sport Wales with Dan Grimstead, who's my physiotherapist. Great support services here. Without these guys, I can achieve my aims and objectives going forward towards, obviously, Beijing this year and the Olympic Games next year in Rio. Hashtag Project Rio. So, being Welsh, it's great. I've got great people around me all the time. There's some amazing people who I can deal with on a daily basis who can just make me better, which is obviously what I want. Massive uh, thank you to ProMix. Obviously, I'm meant to be working full time, but the guys there allow me to train and obviously come here and do my uh, physiotherapy and see the support staff so obviously working full time it would be hard without this so massive thank you to Promix go get yourself a Promix mixer online www.promix.com very helpful obviously for mixing shakes and things so it's great so I'll show you a little bit of Sport Wales a bit of the facility we have there I'm not sure if we can get some physio but we'll try quite secretive in there because obviously a lot of people not wearing a lot of stuff not ideal just to be showing that off out like on the internet and via camera so we'll see but hopefully we can get something physio is key for me I'm going to train twice this evening obviously you can see me throw and see me lift weights so without that body would just be beating up especially if working full time so being a great help to me so let's go to Sport Wales Centre obviously like I said I'm going to get physiotherapy here I'll take you on a little tour now when we get into the place Okay, on the wall we have some of the guys who medaled. This is the high performance centre at Sport Wales. We've got like the dumbbell area there. The strip where we can use the uh, sleds and things. So you go doing hurdle walks over there. Lifting boxes for the big boys who jerk. People like Ryan Spencer Jones and Darius, the weightlifter. Two lifting platforms. The best things about these lifting platforms are little toys that go with them. We've got like force plates here, I measure your power, help to see if uh, your training is making you fatigued or power increases up. Some cable stuff, obviously a lot of bands there, which is good for the rehab things. We had work, leg press. We also got some spin bikes, I don't really use them very much. See some of the distance guys running on this treadmill. I'm not about that. Very happy sports staff member there. Here's the physio room where the magic happens. Things between um... Back to work now then. Good thing about work is all my food is there. Yes. It means I can eat once again. So we got some skier, some frozen blueberries, some Lucy B coconut oil right there. Some almonds, if you could take a look right by there. A banana. 
Now we're going to whack it in this little bar boy. And that would be another meal. Oh, maybe check a scoop of soy make way in there as well. Just for good measure. There she goes. Okay. Here we are at Leckworth now in Cardiff, getting ready to train. Look at this weather. Wonderful Cardiff weather. This is the little man, Jay Moore. So how are you feeling, mate? Feeling right, feeling right. He's feeling excited to train. So we're going to do a nice easy warm up. We're going to throw, do some throwing drills. We're going to kill it, right? We're going to kill it. We're going to kill it. So you fit, so the best gym in Cardiff, best gym in South Wales. We're gonna go there and do some weightlifting now. Um, what, what exercise are you gonna do? I'm gonna do a bit on the bike to warm up. Obviously get on the foam roller, loosen off that body a little bit. A bit stiff after obviously work and throwing and stuff. So we're gonna get on that. And then we're gonna do obviously a power exercise. So today it's cleans, followed by bench press. Compound, obviously, your body strength is pretty important. Then we're going to do some RDLs, just light, get like a hamstring kind of pump going on. Obviously, I tore my hamstring about 12 weeks ago, maybe a little longer than that. So I've got to keep the rehab and the strengthening go up on there. Then we'll do some core exercises, and then we're done. Pretty simple, really. Only about 45 minutes session. The perks of training in the season. We're not killing ourselves. We're just getting quick. We're staying sharp. We're getting ready to throw far, really, so we're going to get on that. We're looking forward to it, Josh Boy. I can't wait. I cannot wait. This is Josh Clark. You might have seen him from the throwing videos. He's a big man, a very big man. Six foot three, 156 kilos of pure Welsh beef. Beef, turkey, what are you feeling? I'm more of a chicken man myself. He's more of a chicken man. But uh, that's just each their own, isn't it? He likes chicken. Okay, like just got to the gym. You fit fitness in Cardiff. Athlete King is also in there. It's the ground floor. It's pretty impressive. Lifting platforms, obviously crossfit area, jumps boxes, a lot of weights at the bottom. Dumbbell rack down there, obviously cable crossovers. Got a lot of hammer strength machines here. There's another two platforms at the back and there's leg machines. Okay, this is the second floor. Pull sleds and things here. Crossfit stuff. A lot of bikes over there. See a lot of cardio machines here. Behind that wall there is a boxing gym. Gary Lockett. Back down the stairs. We've got Athlete King supplement shop. Clothing wear. Some good range of stuff here. Ready for this? No, it's pretty uh, easy. It's quite key that uh, hip flexors are quite loose, so the training we're going to do. When you throw a lot of it, it comes from hip flexors, lower back, same as you do cleans, snatch, 
for the power exercise really so the stretch to uh, stretch off the hip flexors. When you're doing this, like squeeze your glutes. It's important to squeeze your glutes when you're doing this. Okay, obviously, I'm gonna foam roll as well now. You foam roll that kind of area. This is unpleasant, especially you've got a hip flexor as tight as mine, but probably there. Uh, five sets of two hand cleans. This is set number one of uh, five, 120 kilos. Basically, I'm trying to react. So, the first one I will not catch, I'll just turn over and drop again and then go. This represents two sinks and discus out the back and out the middle. That's why it's going to be fast. Good. Two sets on 120, now I'm going to move on to 130. Same principle, speed, don't catch first, don't catch second. Okay. sets of three and then we move on to 150 for two sets of three and then quickly the bar moves we're going to be 160. The important thing here is getting the stretch reflex in the chest which is similar to the way I throw. Obviously when you release this goes you get a big stretch and then you've got a spin through reflex. That's the reason I bounce the bench press rather than pause like power lift to do. So here we go. So I say the uh, stretch reflex in the chest, it's like the plyometric effect, I guess a lot of you heard about plyometric training, people, people think when you think plyometrics, jumping, you have to the floor, but that's for legs, obviously you need to be plyometric upper body as well, you've got to be able to react quickly, uh, so that's what I mean by stretch reflex in the chest. So again we go 150 for three repetitions, same thing, I'm just trying to move apart quickly, this ain't about getting strong, that work was done in the winter. Like, honestly, it's nowhere near my maximum. I'm just trying to move the bar fast. I'm trying to throw far and throw far is done by speed, not just by lifting groups, uh, heavy weights, just from strength and ignorance. So, come on, let's go. Set number five, 160 kilos. The way I'm feeling right now is probably a decent weight for me to be able to move the bar quickly and also I'd be heavy enough for me to like, try and put some force behind it. Like if I'm fresh, 170, 175 is normally quite a good weight for me to move quickly. But obviously I've just thrown a pretty a long day at work and things, so 160 is still pretty good weight. Like it's not really, it doesn't really matter how many kilos on the bar, it matters how many force put, how much force being put through the bar. So, no matter 175, 160, my aim is to move the bar as fast as possible, then that's all I want to do. Only like 100 kilos, just five sets of five. Basic side of an injury here not long ago. I just got to do something to maintain. I don't need to get any stronger right now. So just doing like 100 kilos of RDL just kind of keeps the muscle working, doesn't really push it too hard, and just keeps with the rehab really. So. Cerebral palsy down the whole of his right side. He's just about the bench press 100 kilos. You reckon you got it? Yeah. Hey, we'll video it. We got this. Come on, Joshy boy. Yeah, go on.
happy. That's all the big exercises there now, Sean, some nice specifics and just some like assistance work. So you know, fly, lightweight, full stretch like discus. I'm going to hold it and choke. Hold it that way rather than that way, which you don't want to fly. So you throw discus, and this is like here. So you know, hold the dumbbells like this. And then we're going to do some uh, reverse flies, lap pull down, and just some um, like ab exercises. Job done. So here's the uh, specific discus exercise. What are you doing? Nothing. Hey, hey, hey. Gotta How? store those glycogen levels, man. How good is nutrition to your training? Okay, you take a look. Straws. One year, five a day, surely, strawberries. That's what the nutrition says, right? Come on. Okay. Gym session done. Okay, add some sweets. We need to restore the glycogen, get the sugars in, carbohydrates in. Probably not the best way to do it, but hey, Team Haribo. So yeah, now I'm gonna have a next protein shake when I get in. Wait a couple of hours, then have dinner. So yeah, it's been a good day, good training day. Very productive, got a lot of work done. Roman's pretty good as well, through pretty far. So I'm just happy about the way things going right now. Guys, I'm gonna leave you on that. Thank you for watching. Love. So much love from you guys. Sorry, I'm getting a bit emotional, getting a bit choked up. Now, thanks everyone for watching. Make sure you subscribe and comment, obviously below the YouTube page, so we can make these better every single time we do them. This is obviously gonna run to the Olympic Games 2016, so we've got like well over a year to get some good content here, so anything you guys wanna see, just let me know. Peace out for me, Josh. See you, goodbyes. Goodbye, people. I shall be back.